I'm excited. Hey, hey hi, 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 hello, hi. 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 I'm Santana, this is my channel, welcome to my channel. Sorry if it is loud, I am outdoors, as we can tell. Okay, so what we're doing today, I guess, because of this quarantine, I've turned into a DIY, arts and crafts, thrift flip goddess. I, you know, I earned the title, I didn't, you know, I worked hard for this. So, we're gonna be doing another clothing revamp today. So what we're working with are these blue slip-on vans um these are pretty old they are in pretty good condition i mean they're not they're definitely wearable they're not new but these were my friends and then she let someone borrow them they got stretched out she didn't want them she gave them me so now i have these i don't wear them very often just because they're a little big and i don't know this blue it's like cute blue but it doesn't really go with too much so i don't find myself reaching for these often but i think we might change that today i was thinking i was looking around my room i wanted to paint and i was like what what could I paint other than a canvas? What's something else I could paint? And my eyes fell upon these shoes and I was like, oh my God, I could paint those and make them into some dope slip-ons. So that's what we're doing today. I tried to clean them like the soles a little bit with magic eraser, but they're not that clean, whatever. I'm gonna put some tape around the soles and then we'll start painting. Okay, I don't know why that took so much longer than I anticipated, but they're all taped up so that way i just don't get paint everywhere now the vision that i had for this i was kind of like half asleep one night laying in bed and then this idea popped into my head what i wanted to paint so i'm thinking i was originally going to do one black and one white but then i realized i don't want to paint the shoe white because it's just gonna get dirty and it's just not gonna be cute so black I'm paint the whole shoe black and then i'm gonna put <laughs> Oh my god. And then I'm gonna put a bunch of tiny little flowers all over them. Um, I don't know, I just like, I, I see it in my head. It probably won't look the same as it does in my head, but I'm gonna, let's just start and I'll sh you'll see as we, okay, okay. I don't wanna angle the camera down because I feel like it's kind of hard to get it. So I'm literally just gonna like hold it. <laughs> I hope this isn't weird. I'm using acrylic paint. So, I don't know, I'm just gonna go like this so you guys can see what I'm doing, but, oh. That, okay. Um, I mean, I was gonna sit here and talk, but as of right now, I don't have anything to talk about. So, I'm just gonna paint and then come back and show you this. Might be a short video because I think I'm instead of doing like time lapses, I'll just show you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, phase one done. Wow. Look at that. It looks like, it look like literal just new black pants. Wait, let me take the tape off because I don't really need it anymore. But pro tip if you're going to do this, definitely use the tape because the paint gets kind of everywhere and if there wasn't tape then it would look really bad okay so tape off wow guys if you have slip on bands that are looking kind of old or their color you don't wear much you just don't really like them anymore you can paint them into plain black bands like these look like this almost makes me not even want to paint anything else on them because i pretty much just have a fresh pair of black bands but I won't, but I'm gonna keep going, I will keep going. So I'm gonna practice some flowers and try to figure out what look exactly I'm gonna go for. Also though, as these dry, I feel like the blue is kind of starting to show through a little bit. You really can't tell. Okay, we'll see. Okay, we have begun. So I'm taking the end of this paintbrush, dipping it in the paint and then just dotting these little flowers on so those are the first two this wasn't exactly how i envisioned it but i think i like it this way so i'm just gonna do this with a whole bunch of different colors and i'll be back in a little bit because this is going to take 
a long time. <laughs> Yay! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Purple flowers done. Um, so they look kind of wonky, like they're definitely not perfect, but I think that's kind of what makes it fun. So I'm gonna do all the other colors. We just did purple, I have pink, blue, orange, yellow, and green. I don't know if I'm gonna use all of them because I don't really go too crazy, but let's just start working and we'll see what happens. Okay, I think we're almost done. I am gonna add one more thing, but I just finished painting all the flowers. Let's do a little reveal. They look so much cuter in camera than they do in real life, actually. Oh my gosh, wait, why do they look so cute on the camera? In real life, you're kind of like, but on camera, it's this one off. This is what looks like, as you can tell, my flowers are very, random looking they're not perfect by any means but one thing i'm starting to notice is as the black is fully drying the blue is kind of showing through in some spots i don't know if you guys can tell because it's mostly like around the seams so from a distance it's chilling if you look up close you're kind of like ooh, girl I think I might paint a little white dot in the middle of each of these just to actually emphasize the fact that they're flowers because right now it's kind of hard to tell. Okay, so for the last step, I took this bobby pin, this little bobby pin, and used the tip of it to dip it in white paint and add a little dot in the middle of each of these flowers. With that being done, I think we're done. So let let me show you the final results. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh, these kind of remind me of the Louis Vuitton print that's like multicolor. But I'm actually extremely proud of myself. Um, I did not expect them to turn out this good. And I'm really excited to wear these. So now I have cute, unique, one of one slip-on vans that I can wear in the summer and it's nice that they're slip-on so I can just throw them on, wear them to the beach, um, dress them up, dress them down. Wow. I'm really excited about these. Like I actually would have paid good money for these shoes if I saw them somewhere. Proud of myself. Okay, well, thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on this little adventure. I'd say out of all the random DIY at home activities I've done, this has probably been my favorite and it was very relaxing, it was time consuming. Um, so yeah, I'm happy I did this. I highly recommend trying it out at home yourself if you have some old shoes. And with that being said, please, 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 please like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your best friend, and tell your best friend Shut the fuck up, ayy And tell your best friend to tell their aunt to do the same thing as well So, touch on the flip, ooh, 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 ooh